children so that they had an understanding of consciousness. Mm -hmm. And I raised Cassie to be an African centered consciousness and black consciousness and to believe in our people and in herself. And she is very talented in a number of uh, different areas. And I like to think that she put all those areas together, the graphic design, the marketing, the African consciousness, and her spirit came out. And, you know, we, we have to have economics. I don't know. If, okay, this is not economics. <laughs> <laughs> okay, because I'm loud. I mean, I'm really not <laughs> We need economics. We need an economic base in order to build up our community. And I stressed it so much that she went into business for herself. And then the next thing I know, there's a black mall because I'm like, well, where do I go to get a black contractor for roofing, for, you know, for, for plumbing? You know, okay, we got a rope, we got a man, yes, somebody. We can't do for the black mall, not yes, there. Right All right. There. Uh, always a black mall. And what that is is an online database so that we know where we can go to get services and products from our community. And this was very important, and that's how, you know, the, the uh, spirit of the Black Mall came about, because I hope I had something to do with that. <laughs> <laughs> because we need a whole, you know, combined package, and she puts the whole fantastic package about, I can't believe when Tequila was talking about her and her and Cassie work ethic, it's just crazy. I don't know how they do it. You know, they're, they're just always working. They're always networking. They're always doing something, and it's always something that's promoting our community, and that's one of the most important things that we can do. <laughs> and I, I see the village here, you know, because I was just thinking all these people, some of us knew each other, some of us didn't, and, but it's all the village, and the village is scattered, but here we got the village coming together. So, um, you know, I want to thank all of you all for coming out and bringing the village together, because this be nothing without you and bringing the village together. <laughs> and that model is about bringing the village together and uh, also promoting black businesses. And this is our struggle, and it's always going to be a struggle. Our people need to understand nobody builds up a business in two years or five years. Uh, nobody built up a civilization in 20 years. It takes generations, and this is where we start. We start right here, it's always about a struggle. And uh, I want to read to you the words of the great Frederick Douglass who talks about struggle, especially in, in light of the events that have been going on and all the tragedies because Black Lives Matter, and you all are here to show everybody that Black Lives Matter, I don't care what they do to us, Black Lives Matter will not be If there is no struggle, there is no progress. Those who profess to favor freedom and yet depreciate agitation are men who want crops without plowing up the ground. They want rain without thunder and lightning. They want the ocean without the awful roar of its many waters. This struggle may be a moral one, or it may be a physical one, or it may be both moral and physical, but it must be a struggle. Power concedes nothing without a demand. It never did, and it never will. Find out just what any people will quietly submit to, and you have found out the exact measure of injustice and wrong which will be imposed upon them. And these will continue until they are resisted, either with words or blows, or with both. The limits of tyrants are prescribed by the endurance of those whom we oppress. Where justice is denied, where poverty is enforced, where ignorance prevails, where any one class is made to feel that society is an organized conspiracy to oppress, rob, and degrade them, neither persons nor property will be safe. And one more uh, set of words that he gave, I prayed for freedom for 20 years but received no answer until I prayed with my legs. Hey. Yeah.